good morning happy wednesday thank you for clicking on my video i appreciate it so much today i am in claremont and i'm heading for my first order already as soon as i turned on corner shop well as soon as i was able to get on corner shop uh, once i hit like mid groveland oh you're stopping um i I was hearing the noise for a corner shop. So I accepted it. Um, and now that I'm stuck at this light, I can tell you all about it. It's five miles to the store, which is fine because I'm going that way anyway. So I'm not counting that with this order. Um, I know they might be counting that, but I'm not. Um, it's five miles to the customer. I don't know what the products are. I never do. Um, 13 products, 35 items altogether. It says that it's heavy, 78 pounds altogether. I don't know about that. Um, and the estimated earnings is $15.65. And that's minus a tip because the customer adds the tip afterwards or they show you the tip afterwards. I'm not sure how it works. I'm, I can't order from Corner Shop um, where I live. So I don't really know. <clears throat> um, but that's where I'm heading now, y'all. I hope you guys have a great day and meet your goals today. Like I said, it's Wednesday. So I should be out here all day until I hit my goal. Um, so we'll see how long it actually takes me to hit it. They didn't have one of her items, so I did have to message her, but she was very responsive from the beginning because I sent a welcome message because it was her first um, order as well. Um, I think I passed the entrance to her place i had to bust a u-turn and then she sent me the directions like once you get in there come on people the light is green what are you doing get off your phone um and i still ended up she said to make a right after the speed bump and i went to the street and i saw there was parking spaces when i was leaving i'm like oh so I probably walked a lot more than I needed to, but hey, it's okay. Um, now I'm heading to Subway, which was like almost right across the street in the Publix Plaza for a DoorDash order. It was like 1.8 miles or something like that for $6. 1.6 miles for $6. So I'm like, all right, I can do that. I'm about to pass Subway anyways. So perfect timing for that. I'm gonna pick this up and get it delivered. So my next order is up. I need to go to McAllister's Deli to pick up one item to go two miles or two and a half miles for $5.50. You know, they just sent me like the longest food delivery that I've seen in a long time. I know I see some come through for like Petco and Bed Bath & Beyond that are this long, but it was like, let me turn off my blinker, like 21 miles. I'll put it up on the screen for y'all. 21 miles from McAllister's Deli for two items for $18.75. And I'm like, mm, no, I'm not going 21 miles for $18. There's no way. There could have been a hidden tip. I really don't know. Um, last time I did one of those long ones like that, it was no hidden tip at all. Man, I should have went the other way because this is just traffic McGee. And I don't know if these people are going to let me out. Oh, thank you. All right, all right, she let me out, she let me out. That was nice. Um, so I'm just heading across the street now to McAllister's Deli.
So I just dropped off a small Walgreens Instacart. Oh, sorry, people. Um, and they, it took a while because I had to get two different replacements and it took me forever to find the stupid vitamins. And then I had to keep going back and forth sending pictures about the chips because they didn't have the chips she wanted. That is dropped off and I don't know what made me check my, um, my corner shop, but I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you. And the customer from the other day left me a one out of a five rating and I don't understand why. Like I messaged him throughout the whole process. I even rang his doorbell because hello, he had ice cream. So I, I don't understand why he gave me a one out of five. He even saw me at the door like leaving the items so i i really don't understand really pisses me off that he did that and i can't even like be like oh no i'm not gonna pick for him again because they don't show you where you're going you just have to take it and see where you're going when you're actually delivering it oh man so that just really annoyed the crap out of me because I mean, I did everything right with that order. It was in the corner shop bag. It was at his door. I rang the doorbell. He was peeking through. Like, what more do you want me to do, dude? The corner shop doesn't want you to meet the customer. So I, I don't understand. I don't know, totally made me mad. Uh, but it's very slow today. Today is Wednesday and it is super slow. It's like, dead and it's lunchtime so I, I don't understand why but I guess that's how it goes so after I did that order for Instacart I'm still super mad about that corner shop I'm gonna try and contact corner shop because I just remember like that man did a tip and his directions were leave it at the door I knocked I did everything I was supposed to so I really don't understand why he gave me a one out of five I'm gonna see if they can remove the rating or something. I don't know, I have to find a phone number or a chat number so I can try and get in contact with Corner Shop because that, that's not fair. And I like that I can see the order number because I know exactly who it was. Oh my goodness, I'm so mad y'all, still so mad. Um, but I'm heading to deliver another Instacart. It was small, again, six items, six units for 2.3 miles for Walgreens. So I'm already done. It took me not even five minutes. And now I'm heading to drop it off. I still have maybe like a mile and change to go. Yeah, a mile and 1.2 miles to go for the drop off and it's ice cream as well so I'm definitely gonna knock and make sure that they get their ice cream because I've messaged in the chat with no answers. So Taco Bell I go for 2.5 miles for $5. So on DoorDash and that is where I'm gonna go now, y'all. So I just want to close out Wednesday's video very quickly. I'm going to try to do it quickly anyways. Um, yesterday was Thursday and I was gone literally all day long. So I didn't get a chance to do it because um, when I got home, I just, I did not feel good. So I'm like, all right, I'm done. <clears throat> um, but let me just go through Wednesday was, it was an okay day. I don't think I had any issues 
when I picked up from the pizza place, I'm gonna put the picture on the screen, but somebody had like a skeleton seat belted in their driver's seat car. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, and then I did take a long break for probably like an hour, two hours. So, I mean, I had most of my apps on while I was in Walmart and none of them went off. So shout out to the lady at Walmart. I didn't catch her name. Um, but she watches my video, so hi to you and your sister. Um, it was great meeting you. Um, and then, let's see, I went for dinner because I was starving. Um, I think that's it, y'all. I didn't really do anything crazy. Um, my last two rides, I you know, I don't even think I, I recorded them. I don't know. Um, I did a Ritter's Frozen Custard for 1.4 miles for $5 on Uber. And then a Tijuana Flats order for 3 miles for $6.75. And that was my last order of the night. I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> that order I took at 9, well, I finished it at 9.39. So, um, let's see. I had two things for the feedback on Instacart. One was good replacements, one was helpful chat, and somebody did leave a comment saying thank you. So that was good. With Uber Eats, my total was one trip for $5.05. .05. Um, DoorDash, I had four different dashes for a total of $37.30. .30. Not, not great. Um, and then Instacart, I did two trips for a total of $24.49. Um, and then with Corner Shop, I did a total of $62.21. So, most of that was Corner Shop. Was it $62? I don't know, y'all. I don't know, honestly. I think so. I don't know. That first customer where I parked in the wrong space... She left me a $16 tip, so that was pretty nice. Um, but she did get two cases of water. Um, altogether, I was I made $129.05, so I wasn't very far off of my goal, which I knew I didn't hit my goal, but I wasn't very far off. Um, I was online for about 10 hours, so for 10 hours, I should have made a lot more, um, but it was really slow. I probably could have made another like $10 if I would have taken a ride, but I did it. Um, so my 10 hour average was $12.90 and my 13 trips average was $9.92. Um, I feel like there was something I wanted to tell y'all but I really just can't remember right now. Uh, but that's my totals for Wednesday. Um, I hope you guys had a great Wednesday, great Thursday and today is, what's today, Friday? It is Friday, so I'm about to just go get ready and leave now. Um, I don't have to get a video together. I already did it. So I will see you guys out there. I hope you have a great day. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it. And then if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next one. A young boy being a dream. And in the dream...